Adventure with War Rally Championship starting in 2015 with War Rally Championship 5 by Kiloton and Kitter Racing continues also this year with War Rally Championship 10. We can say after 6 years and 5 chapters developers don't have excuses. This has to be the consecration of all the experience they have learned in these 6 years. We already saw War Rally Championship 9 at the recent levels of excellence in terms of physics but he lacked a bit in other aspects and for this reason did manage to reach the commercial success of Dirt Rally series. Just to let you know, Dirt Rally 2.0 sold way more copies than War Rally Championship 7, 8 and 9 all together. And despite the slightly less realistic physics, most of Sim Racer know the reason of Codemaster's success. But I don't want to start this review with this Prozuk position. As always, I show you this racing game using my unbiased way to evaluate every aspect of it. Ready? Three, two, one, off we go! For those who see this series for the first time, I'll be straight to the point. War Rally Championship 10 is the rally game with the best tires model ever. The way out cars drift and slide so naturally, the progression how your car loses grip depending not only on the surface but also on the drivetrain, the way how the car regains the grip after a spin, War Rally Championship 10 is the reference in terms of the tires model in rally games. Then of course, this is just my modest opinion after more than 20 years passed on racing games. After there will be always people who won't agree with me, but uh, I can tell you, I never drove rally cars in uh, real life obviously. <laughs> but often uh, it happens I take uh, some dirty roads where I live, maybe in a too fast way sometimes. <laughs> And I can tell you, my car really starts losing grip in the same way as World Rally Championship 10. For those who come from World Rally Championship 8 and 9, well, the progress in terms of physics is very little, because these two games had already a very realistic tires model. And with the previous chapters, also here we refine the positive and negative sides, good tires differentiation and wear with the tire puncture which reminds you that tire deformation is present in game. But uh, the big luck uh, is still the same. The tire's pressure, which in rally is a very important point. If you come from War Rally Championship 8 and 9, I tell you War Rally Championship 10 keeps the same grid system. If you are new on this series, I tell you this racing game is a joy not only for the animation, but also on the way how the car rebounds after jumps and the effects on the drive when you set them up. Of course, it isn't recommended to put stiff suspensions on bumpy road because your car needs to absorb the shocks. At the same time, it isn't recommended to put soft suspensions on smooth tarmac, because it makes the car slow on the direction changes. What about physics? If you come from the two previous chapters, 
then in this 10 chapter you won't find news. If you play this series for the very first time, I'm going to tell you what you'll find. First of all, let's forget about Slipstream. I think it's useless to talk about it in a rally context. Second point, the other two lags which still remain in this series are the air and track temperature, which, in my opinion, are important in a rally game, because both have an influence on the car's performances and reliability. Third point is the surface grip. Very, very well made and differentiated. Passing from dirt to tarmac due grand stage is a huge difference. Also, the grip transition between ice and snow is traumatic sometimes. And left four opens, 30. The fourth point is the variable weather system, the same of the two previous games. It has huge effect on the surface in terms of grip. Pretty well made also visually speaking, especially when you see the in-game transition between a sunny day to a scary thunderstorm. Sadly, wind is still only visual, no effects on your car. And left six long, don't cut. Try to stay on the track. And fifth and last point, but not the less important one, the force feedback. One of the best force feedback out on the market returns on World Rally Championship 10 with its extreme precision at giving you multiple infos at the same time about the amount of grip, the surface conformation and the weight transfer while braking, accelerating and steering. Probably is the best aspect of this game together with the tires model. In terms of car sounds, they're still the same for almost all cars, especially the old ones, despite developers claim they worked hard on this aspect. I'm pretty sure this concerns mostly the modern cars only. Developers claim they worked more on the aerodynamic part. In fact, during a stage I broke the rear wing and my car started to oversteer way more because of the lack of rear downforce. Despite the downforce isn't so strong like GT4 or even GT3 cars. It's a welcome surprise. Usually the images are decent, especially on the point where you crash your car, but the body deformation is mediocre for a current gen game. Mechanical ones are better and they are interesting not only for the car drivability effect, but also on the reparation. Time is limited to repair your car between every stage, so you need to decide what you have to repair and which element you can keep damaged. Brake temperature is only visual, and the engine temperature is always under control unless you break the radiator. Setup level is ok, but uh, as I told you before, it misses the tire's pressure. I usually don't talk about graphics, because I don't give a lot of importance on this aspect, but I want to spend half a minute to talk about it. Ok, the graphics look current gen, especially the landscape, the road and the objects. Ok, also for the light effects. What I really don't like is the car model. 
the body proportions with real counterparts aren't always respected and sometimes lights are too matte in game. The real news of World Rally Championship 10 is the amount of events. The game proposes you to reduce some of the most significant rallies of the past. The game also gives you the possibility to compete online and also do the co-driver mode, where you have to read the instruction to your friend while he's driving. For the in-game co-driver you can choose between the male or the female voice and also if he or she must anticipate or postpone the instruction. Shorts, 30. And right 4, Titans short at junction over gravel, 30. And right 6, Titans over crest. And left 4, don't cut. Into right 5, short, Titans over crest. Into flat left over crest, Titans 5. Right 5 over crest and left 4. news of this game concerns more the content itself than the technical elements. You have the impression developers don't take too many risks in terms of changes within each chapter because they are afraid of making mistakes and for this reason it's frustrating observing the slow evolution of the series through the years. So come on guys, I know bigger technical elements cost time and effort but uh, if you don't invest more you risk being too repetitive through the years. Say that uh, this doesn't Danny, this game is a good product for the real sim racers who want accurate physics. Give this game a try, because uh, it's really worth it. Also if you want to approach the rally for the very first time.